Hello everyone, we are going to look at my top 10 for PlayStation 2. The very first game for my top 10 is NBA Street at number 10, and that is a game that was released in 2002, and it had an innovative system of taking basketball and taking NBA Jam and modifying it to where it was street, which was why it's called NBA Street. I love the three on three system. It had, you had to utilize your dribbling. You had to make innovative dunks. You had to use points to hype up the game. And then from there you would make yourself so like, kind of like you're on fire for NBA Jam. And I love that they included multiple characters such as you had Jordans and different characters that were from NBA. And you could also have characters that were not from NBA. And you play them and you put them together and you made yourself a team. And you would go through the circuit and try to get to the top and be the final team to win. I really enjoyed this. I've been hyped for this game ever since. I will not stop playing this game. Next game on the list is Tekken Tag Tournament at number 9. And this is a game that was released in 1999 and it took an innovative system that it had seen from other characters, other genres, other franchises, and it did the tag system. And I enjoyed it. It was one of the first games from Tekken to do this where you had two characters that you enjoyed. You could have a fast and you could have a tanky character and you could utilize them together. I love this. I keep playing this. This is one of the earlier games I still play other than 2 and 3, but this is one of my favorites. So I can play this. I can put this in the system and not have a time where I didn't play it. And it's also one of the few times where you didn't just have, like, you had, like, a cameo character, kind of like Mortal Kombat. You could switch back and forth, and I really enjoyed that. At number eight is WWF SmackDown Just Bring It. This was one of the first games to include six-man tag matches. And not only that, it was one of the few games back in the day that included eight characters on one screen, which was not seen at all until later on in the franchises. But I really enjoyed SmackDown. I really enjoyed Taz and Michael Cole. They made the game really fun. I really had a good time with their announcements. And I also liked that they had center stage all the characters. And it was just a game that I was so hyped for, picked this up, brand new day one. And we just popped in the system and we played it for hours. So I could still play this game. I still have fun with it. And do you have the people's elbow in your mind? Because I do. Next game on the list is Need for Speed Underground 2. This game was released in 2004 and it picks up right after Need for Speed Underground. You are a racer who gets a call and all of a sudden they're told, hey, you are going to be part of this team whether you like it or not. And guess what? You are forced into a team and you have to go around and it's kind of like an open world racing game where you go find a race. I love the soundtrack. I love how you can modify your car. You can have underglow. It was one of the few games where in the back in the day, like you could just play and be lost for hours and not worry about it. Like you could go find another race, go back, try this other race. And I really enjoyed that they got a good cast of people to be the part of the voiceovers. And I also liked that I could just jam out for hours. The next game on the list is Vice City. Grand Theft Auto Vice City was one of the innovative games that it took what you saw from one of the original games and it gave you 80s. I love Tommy Versetti. I loved the you had to go from the prison system to get yourself up and build your empire. I also loved the shenanigans that they had from all the people that you had to battle and the soundtrack was dope. The radio stations were always epic and I just love listening to it. Sometimes I would just put the radio station on, listen to it as I drive around. I enjoyed the voice actor. Sadly, he passed away. So rest in peace and we will always have him in this video game forever. But if you don't know Vice City, try it out. There is multiple systems that it's on. Please don't play the port. Play it on the original consoles. After that, the next game is Crash Bandicoot Wrath of Cortex. This is a game that 
I know has mixed feelings, but it's on the list because it is one of my staples. I got this also day one when it released. And you take in account for not only Neocortex, but you also have the Elementals for the first time. And I really enjoyed the Elementals. I enjoyed that you had space levels, even though they were frustrating at times. I could enjoy that for what it was. And I had a blast with the jetpack. So... If you are not sure about this one, definitely try this out because it's always going to be on my top 10. I don't know how I worked this out, but at number four is Resident Evil 4. <laughs> and the reason why Resident Evil 4 is always going to be on my top 10 is because it took Resident Evil and I will say it was a lot of more action and linear, but that's okay because you could suplex people. You took a knife and you could battle people. I loved that you are able to use all that you had for Leon. He was a character who was going after the president's daughter and he was not going to take no for an answer. He went through. The village was iconic. I love the village. I'm glad that they kept that in Resident Evil 4 Remake. This is the best part of the story. I love little Easter eggs. You found things on the side. You would go through and you find the wolf. And if you save the wolf, he helps you out. There's so much that they thought about for this game that it, it will be a staple. And I always will go back and play it. I have beat this game so many times that I cannot wait to play it again. And definitely, Leon is one of my favorite characters. Now we're at top three. And coming in at number three is... Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. This game was released in 2002 and it's centered around Sly, it's centered around Murray and Bentley. And you had three characters that were iconic and different in their own right. And I loved that they had the Fiendish Five, iconic boss battles that utilized each character's selling point and they were all unique and different, and I love that you could look for the pages if you want to, but you didn't have to, like some games did back in the day, where you had to get all the characters, you had to get all the pages, you had to get whatever it was, gems, and then you kept going. This one lets you play through the story, lets you play through the level, and just like Mario, you could collect all of them if you wanted to, you didn't have to, but if you did, you got a good surprise at the very end with that, so... I loved that he was nimble and stealthy and made me want to play a game that was stealthy. I don't like stealth games. This game is so good that it utilized the stealth mechanic in a great way and it had you stay out of the light. And besides that, it's Sly Cooper. He was so iconic with his hook and I love that he utilized that as a weapon and also to climb with it. So definitely try this out. Another Resident Evil game for number two, and that is Resident Evil Code Veronica. This game is so iconic. It was a game that was so good with its cutscenes that they were epic and they were even used in the movies. Like the running of the wall scene for <laughs> Alice, that was Claire. I had such a great time with this game. Yes, I understand that it was a very difficult game. It's hard. But that was not making me rage at all. I didn't rage quit the game because I kept going, okay, how can I fix this? How can I do this? What do I need to do? And I would ask friends and buddies to help me out. And I'd be like, what am I missing? And once you got the dragonfly and you were about to go to the very end, you were super nervous because you know there's going to be a countdown. There's always a countdown in the original Resident Evil games. And when you got Claire through and you found Chris, I was so happy to find Chris. I was like, okay, we got to get our brother out. We got to get going gotta move on and Wesker is such a badass in this game I liked Wesker in this game and I had a good time with the mechanics yes there's a tank controls but it's classic I hope they remake this and I hope to get to see this in a couple years it's so good you definitely gotta try it and the very last game number one is an innovative game that a company decided to do, and that is GTA 3. When this first was announced, I was so in awe by the graphics, by everything. You are clawed and you're left for dead by your girlfriend. And you're told to go and move along and keep going and just 
build back up what you had lost. And I really enjoyed the open world. It was so iconic to go and just see everything brand new and fresh. And you can go through and the also again, just like GTA Vice City, the radio stations are so iconic. I go and search for radio stations for GTA games and this is one of my top that I do all the time because of what they said in the radio stations and I was just like how did you think of this this was so classic I also liked all the characters they're stupid in different ways and there's some that were so classic that I was just like I want to go talk to this character again I want to replay it I want to see this mission over again and so I did. I played it multiple times. When you finally got to the end and you beat this damn helicopter, the mission is so ridiculously hard, but it is so good once you finish it. You're like, I am so happy I did this. So this is why it's at the top of my list. It's because it was innovative, it broke barriers, and it deserves a remake. I hope one day this gets a remake and not just a stupid port, but yeah. UTA. I want to go play this now. And there you have it, everybody. That is my top 10 for PlayStation 2. Please let me know what is your top 10 for PlayStation 2. And what would you say is some weak games in the PlayStation 2 that your surprise makes sometimes to the top 10s. But I thank you for watching the video. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I'll catch you in another video. Bye, everybody. the gamer gal she's here she's playing games linda the gamer gal she's here she's playing games too